is not a desire compared with you. Oh, and Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name, O God, for this Thursday service. Hallowed be your name, O God, for who you are. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Thank you for all my online viewers. Thank you for as many who are here right now. Lord, your word will go expressly and be a blessing to them. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. What a day to be alive. This is another day. Today is uh, the 24th of December 2020. And I'll be looking on the message titled, Who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus? Now, I hear a lot of people celebrate Christmas without knowing who this Jesus is. Who is this Jesus? That people celebrate without knowing who he is. People go to uh, the tavern, the drinks, they do not know who he is. People smoke and, and just like that without knowing who he is. Who is this Jesus? And I'll be taking our test from the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. It says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor of the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, verse 7, of the increase of his government and, the, uh, and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the thrones of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice. For henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the law of hosts will perform it. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. Who is this Jesus that people celebrate all over the world? Every December, people are celebrating. Every December, people are traveling to, to one city or other that's celebrating Christmas. Every December, people are just uh, buying new clothes and uh, another. Every December, people are decorating the house. Every December, you see street in some nations of the world being lighting up, celebrating uh, the birth of woman. Now, I don't want to go into issue. People say, well, we don't need to celebrate uh, December because it was not, uh, Jesus was not born in December. Well, that's not an issue. But one of the things we should know, Jesus was born. Who is this Jesus? The name Jesus only has a power. The name Jesus has power when we put Christ there. Because when you, people bear Jesus, but they, they can't bear Christ. When you go to Mexico, to Southern America, you can hear people see people bearing Jesus. They call it the Jesus. But the Christ is not there. So the Christ is the difference. Christ comes from the Greek word called pronounced Christos. Pronounced Christos means the anointed one. Christo means the anointed one. And in the Hebrew, Hebrew word, Christo was translated to be the Messiah or the Savior. The Messiah or the Savior. Today, everyone is celebrating the Messiah. Today, everyone is celebrating this, this Savior that came on earth to save mankind. Who is this Jesus to you? The whole lot of people celebrate Christmas, uh, uh, killing uh, 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 all manner of animals to, to cook and eat. Uh, 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 feeding people, drinking, doing party, but they didn't know Jesus. Who is this Jesus that all the whole world celebrate? Now, now, if you don't know Jesus, it's like organizing a party, a birthday party for somebody that you don't even know. They say, "Who are you organizing birthday party for?" I say, "I don't know," but they say, "Somebody's having his birthday. Let me let me do a party." 
you must understand and know who Jesus is before you can even celebrate Christmas. Hallelujah. Who is this Jesus? Well, we must understand that he was a baby born over 2,000 years ago by Virgin Mary. Who is this Jesus? Jesus was, uh, was born by Virgin Mary. That no, no man. And one translation says a younger. Is a younger different from a virgin, a virgin girl? Who is this Jesus? This Jesus Christ was born in the time where, where uh, Augustus Caesar issued a decree that the, everyone will be tasked. Who is this Jesus? That everyone is celebrating. Now, uh, Luke, chapter, Luke chapter 2, verse 1. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. And it came to pass in, the, uh, in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar, from Caesar Augustus that all the war should be tasked. Right from the day Jesus Christ was born, decree was issued. All the people should be tasked. Let them pay tasks. To see how, whether Mary or Jesus could be to pay tasks. Who is this Jesus? Jesus was a, a child, a, a, a child born. Uh, right from the day Herod was after him. That was Jesus for you. Right the day he was born, Herod was after him. To make sure he terminated Jesus, to make sure Jesus does not fulfill his, prayer, his prophecy. Who is this Jesus? Jesus was the only child born by Virgin Mary in Bethlehem, Judah. I said, but that Bethlehem, Judah. Now, shall, 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 shall I begin my song? It was a prophecy ahead of time. Who is this Jesus? Jesus was the only child that, was, uh, uh, that, uh, that the world celebrated and some of them don't know him. Jesus, who is this Jesus? Jesus was the uh, child that was born, and the wise men, strange wise men who don't know him, saw his star and they came to worship him because a savior is born, a Messiah is born. Who is he, Jesus? Now, hear this the name of Jesus appeared 973 times in the Bible. The name Jesus. In the Old Testament, it was called the Word. That's why in John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. He's talking about Jesus. But in the New Testament, it, it, the word Jesus appeared 973 times in the Bible. Jesus Christ, the anointed one, fulfilled every prophecy that was written about him. What, what is the prophecy written about you that you need to fulfill? Isaiah chapter 9. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus fulfilled every prophecy that was written about him, the mission about him. He didn't, he didn't allow one to say, well, I couldn't finish this, then I, I'm going. No, he fulfilled every, every prophecy. Isaiah chapter 9, let me just read only when, uh, one verse, verse 6. It says, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That is Jesus. God give us a song. We compose a song. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You are my healer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You are my healer. We call you wonderful. O counselor, mighty God. Emmanuel is your name. That is Jesus for you. That is Jesus. His, name, he, his birth was prophesied. Yes, decades before he was born. Who is he, Jesus? They call him wonderful. They call him counselor. Who is he, Jesus? Jesus Christ, the anointed one, was a, a miracle worker. He was a miracle worker. He did not leave the sick, the sick one the way he met them. He didn't leave the dead the way he met them. And they called him and said, Lazarus is dead. Four days now. And Jesus said, he's sleepy. Let's go and wake him up. That's Jesus for you. Jesus did not leave the sick the way he met them. Jesus Christ was a signs and wonder personified. He was a signs and wonder personified. Jesus proved himself that he is the only one, true living one. Who is he, Jesus? Jesus is the only one that walked upon the water, walked upon water. Who is he, Jesus? Jesus was the one that was, was crucified on the cross, on, on the third buried, and on the third he rose up again. That is Jesus for you. Luke Gospel chapter, Luke chapter 4. I'm going to be very brief. I'm going to be very brief today. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Let's look at, look, look at. Now, this is when Jesus Christ came to the synagogue for the first time. And he began to say in verse 18, he said, the spirit of the Lord 
was upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Bible says, and he closed the book. He closed the book. Because this prophecy was really, now when Jesus came to the synagogue, they, they gave him a deliverance. He went and picked up his coat and opened the book written about him. What are the books written about you? He said, the spirit of the Lord was upon me. Not to play, but to preach. But to preach. To preach what? The acceptable year of the Lord. Hmm. <laughs> he said, you need money to preach the gospel. He said, to preach the gospel to the poor. To the poor. And he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Jesus Christ was a miracle worker. He healed as many that were sick. As many that were possessed. As many that, that, that have no hope. He healed them. To, the, uh, talking about the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus came and he healed her. Because the woman touched her, touched him, and was healed. What are the man from the pool of Beshiz that was left for, for years? And Jesus said, Would you, did you want to be made whole? Jesus healed him. Isaiah chapter 61, let me read the, uh, one verse for you. Isaiah, this is a prophecy written about him. When he opened the scriptures in Luke, of, in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Now, Isaiah, yeah, look at what he said. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. See, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he has anointed me. What were he anointed for? He's anointed me to, to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the, of the prison to them that are bound. To them that are bound. A lot of people in this Christmas period, they are bound in, 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 with alcohol. They are bound with all manner of vices. And that's why when they finish drinking, they can fight and stab themselves because they don't know Jesus. Who is this Jesus? I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Jesus Christ was the only one that resurrected for them. No other, no other leader, no other person have died and resurrected on the third. No. Never. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega. I hope you know this Jesus. Let's just stand up and begin to pray. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is a way. And Jesus is the answer for the world today. No other Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Today, above him there is no other Jesus is the way. Hear me, you that's watching me right now. Jesus is the only way to the Father. No other one coming to the Father except to Him. So if you don't know Jesus, be playing the keyboard for me. If you don't know Jesus, this is time for you to surrender your life to Jesus. You're going to come humbly with your heart. Bible says, with a heart to believe, with a mouth to confess that Jesus died and rose again on the third day. You're going to say with me, say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am the sinner that need repentance. Have mercy upon me. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Devil that reject you. Because I belong to Jesus. Right now, they clip my mouth and I blew my heart that I'm saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In the mighty name of Jesus. What a Christmas gift you just given to yourself. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you. I bless you, name of God. This one, I've taken the decision, God, I've taken the decision ready to follow you. Affirm that word right down in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my God, my Father, for saving them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, today is. Your birthday is spiritual birthday. So write it down today, 24 of December 2020. is the day you get born again. You can forget. Oh, Jesus, just let's worship you. 
sick right now. If you're in the hospital, you're watching right now, get up, you are healed. If you're in your house watching right now, get up, you are healed. Lord, I declare healing right now. I declare healing right now. Healing right now. Healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. You are healed. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that I just want to congratulate us many who receive Christ and all those uh, who have gotten a healing. Please, there are numbers scrolling on the screen. Write us, let us know that you give your life to Christ. Also, let us know that you, let us hear your testimony about your, your healing. All right? And if you want to also give your offering to, uh, offering to this ministry, please go to the website, scroll on the screen right now. Go to the website, and place God donate up and now with us. Follow the instruction and make your donation. As you do that, we will receive it and we'll acknowledge it with us. If you want us to send you a newsletter, also go to our website and also subscribe so I can be sending you newsletter every time we need to pass up a, a message to you. God bless you. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow with Christmas Eve. Shalom.